with early dark evenings, another looming possible lockdown. Some of you are already in lockdown. I thought this would be an apt video to make now. And it's some simple tips and tricks if you're feeling low in motivation, if you're feeling low in energy, if you're maybe feeling a little bit depressed. There's some little hints and tips that are going to help you break out of this. And they're very simple and they're very effective. But before we start, let's um, just all welcome Steve. This is Steve. Yeah, Steve's decided to join me for the festive season. Thank you, Steve, for joining us. Moving on. As always, I've got to thank my beautiful sponsors, Gymshark, repping their pre-workout range right here, right? Customized it, a bit of confidence, some scissors, follow that hemline around the neck, end up with a nice raw neck. Super comfortable, pre-workout, psychedelic-esque, liking it. Not too shabby. www.gymshark.com also, they have a faithful my protein. You can use code LEXFITNESS on my protein. It'll give you at least 37% off. If not more, it will always beat the maximum percentage offered by just a few. Plus, the more you guys use it, it directly helps me and I'll be able to offer you some more exclusive discounts and maybe we'll do some voucher giveaways and things like that. So cheers for everybody that's using it and support so far. One of the first things I want to cover is one of the things that I've recently found out is crazily effective and something that we can simply implement that we can simply implement every single morning. And that's this music. Music is something we tend to take for granted. But if you think about it, we know that music, we know that sound is waves. We know that those waves literally travel through the air and impact us or go through us. When we're watching a movie, the score of the movie makes you feel a certain way, even when words aren't being said. When you hear a certain song that reminds you of a happy memory, it makes you feel happy, it takes you back to that moment in time. These are all mechanisms and triggers that we can manipulate and use on a daily basis to keep us in an elevated, happy and energetic mood. Music can literally tune you in to feel like a more upbeat and positive human being. Tip one is when you get up in the morning, don't go downstairs. And this is what we all do in the winter. Get something warm, sit down and then put on something mundane on the TV. Because if you're putting something mundane on there, the sound waves that are hitting you in the morning, the energy levels that are hitting you in the morning are mundane. So that's how you're going to feel. Instead, do not get up and go on your phone. Don't do it. Don't start scrolling. Don't get stuck in social media. Turn your alarm off. Walk away from your phone. Put on music. Put on something happy. Put on something that makes you feel like you want to maybe move a little bit or something that makes you sing along, makes you sing loud. Put that music on in the morning and I guarantee immediately you'll start to feel better. You won't want to stay in bed. You'll want to get up. When you do get up and go through those silly little routines you do in the morning that seem boring, they suddenly seem happier and easier to do because you're singing along to some happy music. And then keep that music on when you go downstairs. Keep it on through the breakfast. Keep it on through your coffee. These habits that we develop, these mechanisms, they can either be good or they can be bad, but they're equally as adaptable. So if you get in the mechanism of getting up in the morning, not having something upbeat, going through the same rigmarole, going through the same routine and wondering why you still feel the same, it's crazy. Start changing things up. No phone, no TV and music. And I invested in something that has been amazing because it creates a Wi-Fi network through your house and all the speakers connect and then you can have different speakers in different rooms and the music follows you around. It's one of these bad boys and that's the Sonos One. These are ones I would say to keep an eye out for come January sales and all those deals. Downside of these is they're not a Bluetooth speaker. They work off Wi-Fi network only. You don't actually have to have an active Wi-Fi. You just need a working router. Then they connect to each other through that router system. And that's how they then connect through your phone. And you can play them directly. Spotify will recognize them. Your own phone will recognize them. You basically, it's like you're throwing the music to them. But they don't use Bluetooth and really they're not mobile. You want to set those up, but the sound is incredible. And the fact that you can have them travel through the house so the music follows you, just keeps that music chasing you around wherever you're going and keeps that vibe up. If that is A, a little bit too expensive, or B, you know, you want something a bit more flexible, I got that covered too. This, this little bad boy, a wonder boom. Now these are somewhere between 50 to 60 pounds. This is a Bluetooth waterproof 360 degree speaker and it is decent. It's got a good bass on it, it's got a good sound and you can literally carry this around with you wherever the day takes you and you can buy two of these and they will hook up to create stereo sound which is pretty cool and for the price they are some serious bang for your buck i've had this two years kick crap after it's been on holiday with me around pools and everything never never had a problem with it so wonder boom sonos one is going to make you be able to play music that you're going to be able to hear through the house and get you elevated Number two is gonna be get outside and get some fresh air. If you're sat inside the same four walls 
all the time, wondering why you feel the same way, you're getting cabin fever. Get outside and get some fresh air. A 20 minute simple walk a day will not only help you get some fresh air into your lungs, get some vitamin D from that sunshine, it also is gonna help you separate yourself from that environment that's making you feel low energy and a little bit meh. So you can get you outside into the sounds of nature, into the sounds of civilization, and you will be shocked at the ability that this has to be able to perk you up. Not only that, when you're walking out and about, you're getting the blood flowing, you're getting the body moving, and you're getting used to not just sitting and being and letting time tick by. So that is a really simple thing that is free that we should all be doing, whether it's a run, whether it's a walk, whatever it is, make sure that every day you get outside for at least 20 minutes. I promise you now, it seems silly, but try it. Try both of these things, the music and a walk every day for a week, and tell me you don't feel better. And the last one for this video, and it seems like a simple one, but consistency of training. I know that when you feel down and when you feel low energy, getting to the gym can seem like a mammoth task, but you have to remember, it is only the drive. That journey to the gym from the sofa is the hardest part. Once you walk through those gym doors, I guarantee once the, you hear that music, once you see everybody else around you, once you get in that environment, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna crush that workout. The challenge is the journey there. Plus, the gym session that feels bad is still better than the gym session you didn't do. But there's the biological fact that when we train, we release endorphins, the neurotransmitters that are going to help us feel better. They're going to literally elevate our mood. What it's also going to do is get you into the rhythm of doing physical activity, which is what we're designed to be doing. So we're working with nature. We're working with the biological mechanisms of our system to aid us in elevating. Also, it's a social thing. You're going to see people there. You're going to be able to chat a little bit. Obviously, I'm not saying go to the gym to talk, but you know what I mean. So if you've not had a lot of contact, maybe you're living on your own, just that little bit of human contact, that little bit of interaction could be huge for your day. And you never know also who you're going to meet on what day. And by not going to the gym, you're just reducing opportunities for you to do something at one time it happened, I met a boxing coach who was there who then invited me to go down and do some training sessions with him. And had I not gone to the gym that day, maybe I wouldn't have seen that guy. Maybe I wouldn't have made that connection. You just don't know. Never limit yourself from opportunities that are going to happen from you doing something that's going to benefit you anyway. And I have to tell myself this. I've struggled to get to the gym with these darker days, with the afternoons kicking, but it's dark by four o'clock. Mentally, I start to shut down and it's harder once you've got through the day's tasks to then think oh, I've got to drive that 20 minutes to the gym and it's you know it doesn't seem long but every day when it's 20 minutes there's a 40 minute term and you start putting all these little things together like it's going to take 40 minutes all the and don't do that just understand that when you get to the gym it's going to make you feel better plus if we want to see those changes if we want to see a positive benefit from things we're putting effort into we have to be consistent with them consistency is key because a lot of little wins will always build up to a big result so there we go there are a few simple things that maybe you just need a reminding of. Maybe you hadn't really thought of them in depth as how powerful they could actually be, even though they're so simple. But I promise you now, do these things for a week, commit to it. Then do it for two weeks, commit to it. And tell me, tell me you don't feel better and tell me you don't start getting in better rhythm of life. And my next video is going to be covering how I have been able to recover what is essentially a six month injury in what is only so far six weeks. So much so that the last time I went in to see my surgeon, which was two days ago, he asked if he could use me for a study because I've healed so quickly. And I'm gonna be going through the supplements uh, that I've been using to help recover that injury faster, the mechanisms of the physical side of things that I've been doing to help recover and the mental tactics that I used to make sure that I stayed upbeat and kept on track with my recovery. There we go, that is it for this video. Thank you all for joining me. If you've got any comments, other subject matter you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll catch you in the next video. We're out, boom it.